All right, so let's start. This is the mascara and eye primer collection video. So it's gonna be short, quick, and to the point. No swatches for these. I mean, I kind of can the eye primers, but not really mascaras, but I can show you the wands. So go ahead and show you what I already have out my stash. I don't forget to get it mixed up. But I have the Lancome. It's just your mascara primer here. It's be my second mini version I've had. We've gone through a full size and one mini. Um, this is in the middle ground for me. So it's not like I hate it, nor do I really love it type of thing. And we have Tarte Lights Camera Lashes Mascara. This will be my second tube. Yeah, so that's that one. It's in the mini, full size. I've had a full size. That used up, I think. Yeah. Yeah, it'd be. It's not in this thing no more. So that's that. That's what I have put out. So now I will just go and show you my primers first. Because I love mascara primers. So I'm not a lash gal. I've tried that route. Wasn't for me. Okay. Next. Let's do this. Let's get this out. Jesus. Okay. So mascara primers I currently have. These are all full size. Is the Tarte Opening Act Lash Primers, my new holy grail of holy grails. So once that's empty, I will definitely repurchase another one. So hopefully they don't like Enzo it, because that would be sad. That's my cat farm in the background. You see back there? They like the squirrels. She's got a little tum tum. They're fed well. And they're spoiled. Beautiful cat. So this one is Dior, Maximize Your 3D. This one's okay. This would be like um, in the middle zone too for me. So it's not like I would highly recommend you go and spend the $29 and some change on it. So I just wanted to try it. You know what I mean? So if you want to try it, be my guest. Spend that $29. She's trying, probably trying to get a squirrel. The little, the little tum tum. And then the other one I have is the Laura Geller eyelash primer this one's okay this is a middle ground one too so it's not bad but it's not like super good either and then the last one i have is the milk makeup kush primer here i don't like their mascara but i do like the primer so another middle ground i think the one i love the most out of these is this one Okay, mascara. So we have Oma Beauties, their Batter Boom. This actually isn't that bad. More of a natural lash for me. No, actually just gave me more definition. I do have quite a few though, like just give me more of a natural lash type thing. Here they are. Let me gather them. This is the Elf Big Mood. I meant to do a review on this and forgot. That's okay. This is just like, a normal normal lash for me it's kind of more of like there but not there kind of thing you know like now that's okay I like that it's fine so that's what that would be for me and then we have the Rimmel scandalous mascara one of my box box items this is another natural lash one it says scandalous volume flash it's I don't know seen a volume flash it's just more of a more natural lash but when I tell you what pair anything with this tart mascara primer boom deliciousness on your eyelashes another natural lash is mainly the Colos Colossal why how they have that I couldn't even say that <laughs> this is another natural lash for me I do like this mascara. Okay, we're into the higher end ones now. Boy, I got some more travel sizes. We have a Tarte, or no, this is still a huge stream lash. I don't remember. Yeah, I know, I probably have way too many mascaras open. That's okay, I don't care. I'm using them for minis, it's okay. Um, I don't remember how that was. I'm about to pull that back out. Try it again. And then we had Benefit the Real Magnet. 
Those are my favorite kind of ones. Really like this mascara. And we have the Ilia Lemon Lit Last Mascara. Come on over there. It's another, another one of those beautiful bristle wands. It's a good mascara. And we have, oh, Lash Week Urban Decay. I know a lot of people didn't like the wand on this, but I quite like this chaotic mess of a wand. It's, go it's great. I like it. I know a lot of people did not, but I am fairly fond of this. I like this. And I have three more, and that's it for my lashes. So we have NARS. I think this one's actually almost emptied out. NARS. This is the Climax Mascara. It's okay. It's not my most favorite. I don't think I would run out and repurchase it, per se. We have ABH. Their Lash Bang. I think this one's almost empty, too. This is a ride or die mascara. This used to be in my shop my stash rotation before I started filming them like almost every week. And the last one we have is I took this off because if I leave this on, my cat's thinking I'm trying to play with them, but I'm totally not. Is the F proof mascara here from good old JSTAR. Oh no, I've got mascara on me. It's okay. I like this too. Again, it's that wand, I tell you, the wand. I get a little, I get, I do some, okay, this is like right in the middle zone. Like sometimes I really like it and sometimes I just really despise it. Um, I think it just depends on what mascara primer I wear with it is what, what does it. So that's that. On to our shadow primers. Make it wipe out. Oh. I'm bad, y'all. So, start with one of my ride or die favorites here. It is the MAC Paint Pot. Soft ochre. It's a terrible swatch. That's what she looks like on the inside. We have a the Beauty Crop Stuck on You. This is okay, but I tell you what. You use a brush on this, and that makes it, like, so oily. It's really good primer, but by golly, it took me forever and a decade to fully clean my brush I use. But it's good, though, because for some reason it makes your brush oily. That makes it hard to clean. Now, if you've been in this channel for a while, you know I have an assortment amount of makeup because, well, I don't know, it's just what I buy. <laughs> so then we have the ABH. Eye primer. Let's see here. Another ride or die. It's almost empty. So here's what she looks like. Good quick down, dry down face. We have Elf Ultimate. This is another good one too. It says light, but what they meant to say is clear. That's a good base. I'm all over the place on like different finishes for eye bases. We have the eye icing from Glam Light. Here, let me squirt it on my hand. Here's what the packaging looks like. This is more of a, like a tackier base. It doesn't like dry down. Then we have Visart here. Squeeze it out a bit too. This is a clear base. So you're not gonna exactly see it when I swatch it, but there's a little mass. This is like a velvet kind of eye primer feeling. I love it. Shadow glides right on it. Here. Urban Decay Eye Potion Original. It's a little bitty guy. I got it in one of those little, oh. One of those little, oh, those little, little free pea sample bags. That's what it came in. So here's the eye potion. Has some color and then you just swish it out there and it's gone. Still tacky though. Fenty Beauty. A reoccurring favorite over here. 
another clear base, but really good. It's tacky, but I like it. It's the Invisipink, great stuff. Good job, Fenty. Oof, another favorite Holy Grail status. It's the Rare Beauty it's the Eye Primer. Well, I keep telling you Eye Primer. We all know it's Eye Primer, but here she is. It's another Holy Grail right here. Oh no, it's made a mess. See, not even go down clear. I don't have this next glitter base because I do have glitter for someone who doesn't wear a lot of glitter. Here's what this looks like. Just kind of tacky, clear. We have the. Oh, would you look at that? I didn't realize I had the Alamar. This is the. Oh, come on. The Alamar Pearl Prime Longwear C Pigment Base. Oh, I'm about to go down my sleeve a little bit here. Here is swatched. You see, once you spread it out, it kind of goes on clear as well. A lot of clear bases for someone who doesn't use a lot of clear bases, although some of them have some uses. We have the Too Faced Shadow Insurance here. Let me squish her out. I got some use in all this. Another clear tacky base. I didn't realize how much I like tacky bases, so I realized I have a lot of tacky bases. Look at this. These collection videos are doing us some good. And the last one we have is the Juvia's Place. I prep, I prep. Really, once you get this, you get it first time enough, just take it with all the force you got. Okay? That'll do it. And you won't get that water residue when you open it. Once you, but if you still get that water residue, just don't worry. It doesn't affect the product, I promise. Because I've opened this several times after and I've had no problem with it. See that? Beautiful. Well, that is my mascara and eye primer collection together. I hope you like this. Uh, what do you guys have? What do you choose? And again, if I don't get to your comment, just know YouTube is being weird. I'm trying. I'm getting to them as they show up to me. Then I respond and then they disappear. Oh, here's my hands. I sort of did. Can't really see them though. <laughs> oh. All right. Thanks for watching. We'll see you in the next one. Bye.